Guys, you need to pay attention. Peter, are you doing your work or playing on your phone again? Why have you not done anything? If you were listening, you would know what you should be doing. Having disengaged students is one of the biggest challenges facing teachers today. Disengaged students can fly under a teacher's radar, not causing or disrupting the class, not interrupting the teacher or other students in attempting to learn, but at the same time not participating in classroom activities, attempting to do the fair or reasonable amount of work, or even engaging with other students or teachers at all. In this video, four university students have researched this question to try and identify the key factors that can help positively influence student engagement levels in secondary classrooms. Here is a brief overview of their research angle on this question. With the overarching topic of student engagement, my individual research question was, how do teachers' positive attitudes and interaction impact student engagement in secondary schools? Through key findings, student engagement is a t constant topic of discussion, opening the door for multiple ways in which this can be improved. Undertaking research in order to discover contributing factors towards positive teacher impacts on student engagement revealed that teacher interactions play the most crucial role towards student engagement. The research methods that were used was a survey for both teachers and students, which allowed for in-depth responses, contributing to accurate and informative data on this topic. Further analysing the concept of student engagement, my individual question was how does direct instruction contribute to classroom engagement of students? Research findings has revealed when a direct instruction method of teaching is incorporated, students are more engaged with learning with participation and involvement levels significantly improving. The research protocol that was carried out was a student survey questionnaire which contained various student-related and teacher-related questions that students were required to appraise using a Lightroom scale. First response indicated that when learning tasks were broken down into smaller components, attitudes and engagements with learning markedly increased. The overarching topic for this research is the factors that impact student engagement in secondary schools. My individual research question is titled, How does game-based learning engage EALD students in Year 7 English classes? It was found that a teacher has the most impact on students' learning and engagement. It seems that the level of engagement is increased when students understand the content of the lessons explicitly explained by the teacher. If the game-based lesson activities are well facilitated, students are found to be more connected in the classroom. As part of the research method, ethnographic observation of the activities throughout the lesson was employed. Because technology has become such an integral part of human society, its inclusion in our classrooms has always been inevitable. For this reason, I decided to research if and how the inclusion of technology can assist with student engagement levels in a Stage 5 Commerce class. Through the use of artifact data collection and analysis, both the research and literature review demonstrate that technology's inclusion alone is not a significant factor. Rather, it is the relevance and importance of the use of technology for the task and the manner in which the teacher directs students to use technology which can lead to higher levels of student engagement, so as not to become a distraction for the students. Combine literature review. From our literature reviews combined, but the following were identified across our research. Number one, what factors impact student engagement in secondary schooling? Teachers as a leader or instructor are still the most critical factor within this topic. Teachers' positive attitude and interaction towards students is key when looking at the effects of positive moods enhancing student engagement. Teacher is a fundamental in being able to scope each student's capabilities and devise a teaching strategy that benefits all. When effective, the teacher's positive impacts allows for building student-teacher relationships which can assist in making students highly engaged. Teachers who know how to use technology, 
therefore teaches a key within this, appropriate use application and amount of direct clear instruction from the teacher leads to higher engagement, balanced approach by a teacher. Teachers should know how to apply and use GBL approach effectively to meet different learning styles of students. Two, impact a variety of techniques and devices in creating engaging, inclusive classrooms. An impact of a variety of techniques or devices in creating engaging, inclusive classrooms. This generates positive attitudes towards the use of technology in teaching, therefore empowering tool specifically for students with disabilities or special needs, enhancing their higher engagement through ICT. GBL is found as an effective technique for engaging EALD students, although poor instruction of the game mechanics might lead students to disengagement. This has found to be useful in improving the language ability of EALD students. Examples of games used in the research, flipped spelling bee, anagrams, and complete the story. It is of extreme benefit for students with lower abilities. It can be delivered in a range of forms. It increases engagement levels on a whole class level. Limitations of certain devices, however, can be too low level for students of higher abilities can be viewed as too basic for classrooms with students of varying abilities, ultimately decreases disengagement in students, it provides distractions, keeps students on task, use negatively, not on task, cyber slacking, negative impact when used as a core component of a small group task. No significant difference with traditional workbook lessons. For example, the test result using GBL approach is similar with the result using traditional workbook tests. Poor use, direction by teachers, leading to disengagement. Only a tool, not a replacement for teaching. Poor methods of data analysis are carried out for a research project survey, artifact analysis, ethnographic observations, and interviews. These all are found to be effective methods in studying the factors that impact student engagement. The ethical considerations are fairly standard. The researchers made sure that the following are taken into account while carrying out the research. We have the informed consent being signed by the participants or their parents. We respect the anonymity and confidentiality, and of course, respect the privacy of all involved in the research. Our group data analysis and findings found similar trends. First, the quality technology resources used in the classroom does in fact play a part in increasing student engagement. Teachers uphold the responsibility to create and research informative resources that benefit their students and to make the material engaging, thus enhancing engagement. Using ICT resources such as Kahoot and incorporating curriculum content within these resources prove to encourage student engagement and motivates them to learn. Moreover, significance of technology appears to have the largest positive impact on student engagement in classroom activities. When the technology has a high level of significance and the task cannot simply be replicated but are critical to the learning activity, student engagement is at its highest. The next findings that we found is the teacher's instruction. The second most significant factor for the use of technology to engage students is when the prescribed use of technology is in a disciplined manner, constructed clearly by the teacher to enhance the learning and engagement of the students. Furthermore, the level of teacher's direction and interaction with the students has a great impact on students' learning. When the teacher explained well 
the content of the lesson and involving himself or herself in the learning process of the students, it is found that students are more engaged and motivated to learn. With the teacher's attitude towards increasing the engagement of students can build a better safe community for all the students. Thus, facilitates a positive learning outcome for all. Lastly, the student-teacher relationship or interaction is paramount in order for the student engagement to take place. When the teacher is constantly engaged with students, this allows for student-teacher relationships to form, building trust and encouraging or enhancing student performance. As well, positive teacher interactions have the ability to change student performance by providing feedback, further instruction, and creating an inclusive environment where students are able to flourish and increase their learning. Finally, based on our group data analysis, the level of teacher interaction with students has a manifold impact on the student's learning and attitude overall. When the teacher becomes involved and engaged in the learning process, providing constant feedback and individualized support, it has the capacity to change students' attitudes for the better, increase engagement, improve understanding and academic outcomes, and facilitate higher order thinking. Once the literary research has uncovered various factors that are vital in the educational space towards influencing students' engagement, there are still an array of open inquiries and academic discussions surrounding this area that incite a need for further investigation and recommendations for future practice. For instance, when it comes to the incorporation of the use of ICT in technology in classroom, one of the main talking points that exist is how much is too much. Wireless technology prepares students for the real world. Many educators feel as though there are times when excessive tech use can hinder the development of P2P communication, collaboration and creativity which are also central in the real world. The use of tech has also caused apprehension in parents who feel as though extended tech use is placed in the child at a risk of possible cyber threats. Another common inquiry point which has probed further research is about how to make the learning environment as inclusive and supportive as possible. While this research has shown that increased teacher interaction is vital, educational research has indicated that classroom can also be grounds for emotional development in students. Therefore, there ought to be effective guidelines into how to deliver strong interpersonal skills among students and how to cultivate a classroom where everyone has a positive relationship with another.